Let's begin with the clinical unit. A two-year-old male child descendant of Ashkenazi Jewish family being evaluated for progressive neurologic neurological deterioration. Liver biopsy show intracellular sphingomyelin accumulation in leukocyte. The most likely diagnosis is So basically, this child suffered from the lysosomal storage disease. So in lysosomal storage disease, the lysosomal enzyme is absent or decreased, which lead to the increased abnormal metabolic product accumulation in cells. Lysosomal storage disease increase incidence in Ashkenazi Jews families. In this picture, we discuss the some high yield stuff related to the lysosomal storage disease. So what happened? So normally GM2 is a substance that is converted into the GM3 by the enzyme hexosaminidase A. So if this enzyme is deficient, it will lead to the Tay-Sachs disease and the accumulated substance is GM2 inside the cell. Next. This GM3 is converted to the glucocerebroside. Another enzyme, alpha-galactosidase, convert the ceramide trihexoside into the glucocerebroside. If this enzyme is deficient, it will lead to the Fabry disease. It is another lysosomal storage disease. Next is this glucocerebroside is converted to the ceramide by the enzyme glucocerebrosidase. If this enzyme is deficient, it will lead to the Gaucher disease, which is the most common, most common lysosomal storage disease. It is the most common. Next, so sphingomyelin is another substance that is converted by into the ceramide by another enzyme, sphingomyelinase. So if this sphingomyelinase enzyme is deficient, it will lead to the name and pick disease. And the accumulated substance is a sphingomyelin. So if the sphingomyelinase enzyme is deficient, so accumulated, subst accumulated substance is a sphingomyelin. Next. So the sulfatides is another another substance that is converted into the galactocerebroside. If this enzyme aryl sulfatase A is deficient, that convert this sulfatides into the galactocerebroside, then it will lead. If this aryl sulfatase enzyme is deficient, it will lead to the metachromatic leukodystrophy. It is another lysosomal storage disease. Next, this galactocerebroside is converted to the ceramide by an enzyme galactocerebrosidase. So if this enzyme galactocerebrosidase is deficient, it will lead to the Krabby's disease, Krabby disease. Tay-Sachs disease and name and peck disease, both are the progressive neurodegenerative disorders. Both are the lysosomal storage disease. So what happened in the Tay-Sachs disease? GM2, normally GM2 is converted into the GM3 by enzyme hexosaminidase A. But in Tay-Sachs disease, this enzyme is decreased. So the accumulated substance is GM2. Next, the cherry red sp spot on macula present in the both Tay-Sac and the Neyman Peck disease, while the hepatosplenomegaly is only present in the Neyman Peck disease. So the substance that accumulated in the Neyman Peck disease is the sphingomyelin. So this uh, normally this sphingomyelin is converted into ceramide by the enzyme sphingomyelinase, and this enzyme is decreased in the Neyman Peck disease. 